Alright guys, hey, it's Retro Mikey 78 Today we are going to open up the Data East Hits Pixel Player Portable Gaming System by My Arcade. Now I picked this up at Aldi's. There were two versions. I'll throw the picture up for you. There's a Game Boy style and the Game Boy Advance style. This is supposed to have 300 retro games plus 8 memorable Data East titles. So it says there's only 8 Data East and then there's 3 other 100 retro games. Full color screen. It says it's got 2.5 front speaker and requires um, 4 AA or 4 AA or triple A batteries. Not included. Or you can go buy a micro USB port and plug it in. Now if I would have read that I wouldn't have bought some batteries. <laughs> But let's dig into this, open it up, and show you guys what's inside, and then we'll come back and do a review. All right, guys, so we are going to open up the Data East Hits Pixel Player. As you guys see here, it's really got all kinds of nice little get, get things. Said it had eight games plus 300 retro. So the eight games are Bad Dude, Caveman Ninja, Burger Time, Karate Champ, Heavy Barrel. B-Wing, Side Pocket, and break Breakthrough. Alright. So, that's basically all that's in the box. is just this itself. And a little booklet. User guide. Looks like it has multiple languages. Oh my lord, I'm going to have trouble reading this because I don't have my glasses. It is really, really small print. I don't need the camera, April. It's white. All right, I don't need that. All right. I gotta go get a screwdriver, so, so I'll be right back. Finally found the right size screwdriver. I was afraid it ha would have this, then I forgot about it. I've actually had this now for, I think, what, two weeks, April? Yep. And just haven't felt like doing the video. Fossil was really busy with March Madness. Man, these screws are longer than I thought they were. Right. So, we've got two ports. Um, looks like it does micro USB for style A, which you know you don't really have no more. Uh, AV out, aux out. So I guess you could hook it up to something. I don't know what. I guess that's just starting. I don't know what these little buttons do. But we'll put the batteries in and check this out and see how well it runs. That's weird. All the batteries go in the same way. I usually I don't see products that do that too often. <laughs> I don't have very many Type A cords anymore. I've pretty much switched everything in our house to Type C. So if I was to continue to play this, which I pretty much bought this just to do a video. April and me seen it while we were checking out at Aldi's. We're like, she goes, hey, why don't you get one? I was looking at it. She goes, just get one. Do a video on it. Have it. Let everybody check it out. So as you guys see, the, you might see in the camera, the mic that I normally put on me is right here. So you guys can get every little bit of audio that comes out of this. That is going to be the mic that you guys hear out of. So. Okay, so that's volume. That's about as loud as it goes. The speaker is right here. Not that far. Curly Monkey 2. Beaver. Fast running. So 308 games. 
Let's play some burger time. Okay, the D-pad on this thing sucks. Wow, this, there's no clickiness to it. You don't even know if you've hit it. Well, what's from all these? I'm dead. Let's do some heavy barrel. Now this responds a little bit better than what the other one did. I said a little, not much. Yeah. All right, so let's go backwards. Um, we'll try one of these. Pinball track, whatever that is. Oh, I guess you got to dodge the holes. I don't know if it's just my hands. Uh, this D-pad is really, really sucky. The buttons feel great, but the D-pad, ugh. All right, so I'm gonna get off here and um, give you guys my final review on it. All right, guys, so, um, what I think of this thing. Is it worth the $25 that you paid, or I paid? Um, the screen quality of it, really good. Um, I haven't messed with the battery life. You know, checking it out. I do not have any speaker or earphones or anything like that at this point. So, AV out. I do not know what cord I need for that. And like I said, I don't have my glasses. They're actually out in the car. To play on a television via 2.5 millimeter AV cable. So I guess you can get a 2.5 millimeter AV cable that goes out to audio video and you could play this on a TV. Now that wouldn't be too bad because this screen is actually kind of small to me. It's I don't care much for handhelds as it is. Um, but that being said, honestly... It's not that bad of a purchase. Um, I'm not a fan of the D-pad. Um, some other people might be able to use it better than me. I felt like the up really, really wasn't working. It might have been just this model like or the one I got. Like I said, the buttons, the buttons feel really good, but the D-pad has, it's like it's weary whether, I, I feel the down left and right, but the up doesn't feel right. There's something about the up. Um, I do like that you can hook a USB, but you it's not to charge it. You have to play it off the USB. So.
So you would have to always be on. There's on. Oh, okay. And if you want, I didn't even realize that. If you want to save battery, you can turn it on and then you can also turn the buttons on and off. I'd probably actually like the buttons on, but and this is somebody you're playing at night and you could be playing in a car. You could be playing somewhere where it's really dark. It's not that bad of a purchase. Um, there's all kinds of nice, fun games that I'm probably going to actually end up trying. Um, I love playing all these oddball, loony games that are out there. So I'm not upset with the purchase. I am going to sit down and play it sometime. I don't know when. Um, but for $25, I'm probably going to give this a 6 out of 10. Um, this would be great. Um, they should have released this around Christmas. People could have took this and stuck it in a stocking stuff or gave this to some gamer um, gift for somebody. It's an, it would have been a nice gift. Um, that being said, it's not... Yeah, is it? Six out of ten, that's not bad. Um, I wouldn't run out and go look for one. Um, like I said, seen one at Como Retro Con. The guy was selling it for 30. Uh, I'm not... I, now I'm looking at this, I think I might have liked the Game Boy version better. Uh, no. I like my hands being further apart. <laughs> the, the Game Boy versions basically stand like this. Yeah. The screen was up here. The screen was smaller on the Game Boy. Yeah, it was a lot smaller. But that, this is what it is. It's the My... What is it? My, my Player is the company. Pixel Player Data he East Hits. And it's got a few Data East games on it. And then it's got 300 other retro games. So, you guys are interested, check it out. I'm sure there's probably somewhere online. You can probably find it online if you wanted to. But I got it for $25. Just show it for you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's been Retro Mikey 78. I'll see you guys back again with some more content here soon. Thanks for watching.